All right, boys. I've been waiting on for this. Uh, finally bought it. And I'm really excited to install it right now. Uh, so I am going to get, I'm going to install the GPS. So I'm probably going to place it right between the speaker and that little sensor. Also, I, I do want to use the microphone. And I think I want to place it here. So that may take a little longer than than usual. Uh, I know some people have it right here, right in front of the, your steering wheel. But I don't know, I don't feel that that's a good place. So it's time, it's time to get a new head unit. Uh, this is obviously outdated and you can barely do anything and see anything. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the glove compartment. Uh, this panel, the one under here, and then I can just try to uh, try to put the head unit in. Also, I gotta check the wires, which wire does what, and yeah, we should be good to go after that. So here she is. This is how the head unit comes in, and it's pretty much it comes with the frame and everything so I'm probably going to be watching a couple of videos just to make sure I do this right it looks like there's not many plugs so maybe it won't take that long my first time messing with this head unit so really excited I want to start watching videos <laughs> But, all right, let's get to business. Yeah, so here's all the cables you need. They even give you some frame panel removal tools. So that, that will come very handy right now. And yeah, let's have fun. All right, guys, as you can see, I took this panel off. So just make sure that you remove the tabs on top and the bottom. Just a little quick tip. I removed this as well. It's three panels. One, two. This one I just left it hanging. Kind of pain in the ass to unplug it. And then this one you just pry it. You're gonna find a little Phillips right here. Uh, Phillips down here as well. So far, two Phillips. All right, boys, so I removed the glove compartment. There's a 10 millimeter down here. I think it's on this bar right here. I actually dropped it, so I gotta find it. Next thing I did was uh, pry, pry this, uh, the air vents. You just gotta pry it with the tool that comes with the kit. So that was pretty simple. Now I just got to unplug it. I got some two more 10 millimeters. I'm thinking I have to remove these, this bottom piece. So I'll probably get to that and we should be good to go. It's not really hard, just time consuming, but we got to do it. Uh, I think she'll look really good with that nine inch screen, YouTube. I can watch Netflix, so I'm really excited. Hey guys, a uh, quick update. So I finally got my iDoing head unit fully installed. So far I'm loving it. The sound system is way better. Uh, you can see my GPS uh, signal receiver over here. You can see my microphone. I brought it here. This is where I doing uh, recommended that I install it. And so far I love it. I had to adjust a few settings like, uh, so when I would uh, reverse, the music would just turn off. 
that was really annoying. Also, whenever I was uh, speeding, uh, the head unit would tell me, you are speeding. And it just, you know, and it would also beep like twice. So it's just little things that, you know, I needed to uh, do a quick setting on. Also, I watched a couple of videos. Uh, some people were telling me to remove th this little piece. You don't have to. Uh, another thing that you should know is there is four mounting bolts for the stock head unit. There is four. Two are on top and two are the bottom. The ones in the bottom, you need to reach from the side. So when I was watching the videos, people didn't mention that. And I don't know, I was little, a little confused, I guess. And, and I had already taken off four bolts, the four mounting bolts, and I didn't even know what, what else to do. So uh, I pulled the, the head unit. Make sure you pull it with two hands and it'll come off. Uh, so far, I'm loving it. Uh, let me give you a quick preview of the head unit right now. Uh, just little things that I'm learning. My Bluetooth is here. Uh, I also, this is the app for CarPlay. And this is also another app that I think transfers your apps from your cell phone to the head unit. Uh, there's a lot of things. I'm still playing with this. There is YouTube that I couldn't get it to work. So I st I'm still, you know, learning and messing around with this. This is also, uh, yeah, here's where you can, you know, customize your uh, equalizers, your bass. So there, there's a lot of features here. Uh, the GPS is here as well, so that's really nice. It's like a 3D uh, map and it, you know, it has all the symbols and it's really nice. So far, I don't have any complaints. Um, one thing, I kind of miss the volume knob, but I guess that's something that, you know, that is not going to kill me. But other than that, I really, I'm really loving the wireless CarPlay. I feel that that's the, probably the best feature that this thing has. Uh, also, you can upload pictures, change your background. It's very uh, customizable. Yeah, this is like internal data, no videos. But yeah, you know, I just want to let you guys know that this is probably the best head unit that you can get. And if you don't have it, you know, you're wasting your time right now, honestly. The stock head unit is, is nothing compared to this. Uh, so I really recommend it. And another thing that I can tell you guys is there's a lot of people, a lot of websites that sell you this head unit. I even watched somebody t on YouTube that was saying that yeah, you better off buying it from him because he lives in the States and the head unit comes from China and you don't want this, you know, package coming from China with the Chinese letters, blah, blah, blah. But the reality is that I doing is shipping this. They're shipping these uh, head units from California. I actually got mine in five days and I live here in Florida. So that's a really good tip. Um uh, I was I highly I highly suggest you buy it from uh, the manufacturer. They also are very helpful. Uh, I think the only question I had was uh, so I needed the code to uh, connect to Bluetooth, and they were also very helpful. Right away, as soon as I made the purchase, they sent me a text message with my shipping uh, install guide and all kinds of info. So they're very helpful. Uh, they communicate very well. So guys, don't hesitate. This is a really nice head unit and nine inch, nine inch displayed. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll see you guys on the next one.